India's economic survey has often steered the discussions on economy forward. In the last few years, the survey became more than just a summary of the performance of the economy and policy initiatives. And the new chief economic advisor had big shoes to fill. By the looks of it, K.V. Subramanian seems to have delivered. Let me summarize some big ideas from this survey, some very interesting ideas to talk about. This survey flagged the challenges on the fiscal front and its impact on tax collections and agricultural spending. The most unique idea of the survey is the agenda to bring in behavioral change by applying the principles of behavioral economics. This was extended to several areas which are often excluded from economic debate like gender equality, health, cleanliness. K.V. Subramaniam also relied heavily on acronyms to push his point. Take for instance the transition from Beti Bachao, Beti Padhao to a new one. It's called Badlav. Badlav is the acronym for Beti Aapki Dhan Lakshmi or Vijay Lakshmi. Badlav it says. Swach Bharat became Sundar Bharat. For LPG subsidy, gave up the, the, the give it up motto became think about the subsidy. Another interesting idea is the case of intervention on dwarf companies. The survey describes dwarfs as firms with less than 100 workers. It says it's best for the government to not intervene in such companies. The survey calls for a sunset clause of less than 10 years for all size-based incentives. It bats for deregulating labor laws restrictions to generate jobs. And these are all unique ideas. One of the other issues that is often forgotten in the economic discourses is legal constraints. This survey, and this is very interesting, listen to this. The survey, economic survey, calls for a need to ramp up capacity in lower judiciary. And it links this to ease of doing business. And that is obvious, but often overlooked. If disputes are resolved faster, then business is gained. India's population is young. It's one of the biggest advantages in this country. But fertility levels are decreasing. The percentage of aging population is on the rise in many states, especially in the south. The economic survey talks about gradually increasing the retirement age and healthcare investment. Such stances would maintain the economic gains at least in the near future. The other big idea is the rationalization of the minimum wage system in the country. At the moment, there are 2,500 wage rates. The survey wants to reduce them to 300. It also wants the center to notify a national floor minimum wage, which would vary across five geographical regions. Again, that's a great idea. The minimum wages vary from region to region. Fixing the wages for each region would not only help the local population, but also keep all the regions attractive for the labor force. And at last, the color codes. The last economic survey, remember, came out in pink. This economic survey is all about blue sky thinking, but pink or blue, the survey was brand new and unique in many ways.